uh, how how boost up is, is your uh, Twitter account? How many people are you paying to boost your Twitter account? A lot, I'd say. Yeah, I'd say I'd say that you have a lot of Twitter followers. Roscoe tweets. 750 times a day. Most e. of them are just single character tweets, <laughs> like an N or a P. But he's tweeting or more like constantly. a something on the yeah, keyboard. Yeah, sometimes you get that. Yeah, uh, I think that 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 a lot of actors out there are really great self promoters and, and directors and things like that. And I think that that's great. You know, what I mean, if that's how if they feel like that's how they need their to help their careers, that's fantastic. I I, I hope that that doesn't become the norm. You know, and I hope that that doesn't, um, I mean, you know, it's, it's business. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. Like, just to get back to what we were talking about before, doesn't a certain amount of self-promotion turn you off? Like, don't you think the best form of self-promotion is making good stuff? And okay. that when you, when you have a certain friend, you know, we don't need to mention names or anything, but friend X or something, mm -hmm. who every time he does anything, you get a text saying like, Joey, I'm so proud of this movie I made. Please come out and support. Please turn into CBS at 9 p.m. to watch this. Come to my art show, whatever. And it it's always sort of mediocre stuff. Don't you kind of just look at it and kind of disregard it eventually and think like, oh God, all this guy does. It becomes like white himself. noise, right. definitely. So I, I don't know. See, I, I think that, that the best form of promotion is, is good work. And then, you know, all the, I, I feel like there, there's got to be a lot of people who feel like me and feel like you about this, that when self-promotion is kind of a turnoff, it makes me... It, it takes a, 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 a sort of a notch off my desire to sort of be uh, a spectator with whatever they're sort of trying to shove down my throat. I I, I feel like sort of, you know, uh, letting the work speak for itself is one of the more appealing things about about an artist or, or anybody who's in the entertainment business, whether they're an artist or not. Um, making good work. Is, is great, and if somebody's really trying to force me to see their work, it makes me suspicious about how good the work could possibly be. Yeah, but I think also, even now, it goes beyond the work, and it's about people kind of letting others into their lives, you know? There's, well, it's yeah, like that's a whole other tweeting and, and yeah. saying, like, well, I'm, you know, I just got out of the guitar store. I'm going to go play my guitar now. At the gym. And then all these, like, tw like tweeners are like, oh, my God, he plays the guitar! <laughs> You know, and it, it's, it's, it, it has nothing to do with their Well, that's really unfair, because I was just writing that I played the guitar because I just wanted people to know, you know, I wasn't necessarily writing for all those tweeners. Well, yeah. But God bless that's them. That's how you come It's really nice. That response is just always great. <laughs>